Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see date time field. Okay, so let's jump into computer screen and see that field. So here, first I'll just run the server. Okay, and say python manage.py run server. I'll just open this into the browser. So I'll just open that. Okay. Now here I'll go to employee. Now you can see we have three fields over here. And if I open my models.py, then we have many fields over here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'll just go to admin panel. And here I'll just delete all the data. Okay, delete it. Now here we can remove the fields which we have cleared already. So I'll just remove this much. Okay, I'll only keep this employee name and joined date. Okay, now here we will just we will just alter this to date time field. Okay, save it. Now break the server, clear the terminal, and I'll say Python manage.py make migrations my g r okay i misspelled the migrations spelling i guess migrations okay now once this is done i will say python manage.py migrate keep in mind you need to delete all the data otherwise it will not allow you to remove the field and if in case it allows you to remove the field then it is gonna throw an error when you will log into the admin panel okay so please do this otherwise it is not gonna change it for you now once this is done let's go to views.py now here we need to remove this salary we don't need this and we also don't need this line over here right now i guess everything is fine okay so once we click on the save button it should submit the data now coming to the forms.py now here we need to just remove this integer then the character field is now we need to keep that one now we need to keep this both now here instead of date field i'll say date time field now when you use the django forms to create the date time field you need to write date time field over here to date time field okay this is all now you have date time field in your browser okay so let me just run the server again let's go to employee refresh over here now you can see we have this now if i click over here we have this amazing uh, date time something let's click on first okay now here we need to click on today and just submit data has been saved now refresh over here see okay so we have this how to save the time now here you can see we have this 0000 in the time right we don't need that so here we can say type and here we can pass date time hyphen local this should work i guess so let's okay we did not need to change that over here we need to change it that over here save come over here go back refresh see we got this now we can also add the time in the django forms okay i hope you got idea about this one so i guess you already understood what i'm trying to explain over here i will explain it again see first i removed all the fields which we have created in the previous videos i only kept this employee name and employee joined date joining date okay and i altered this joining date from date field to date time field okay and everything is default over here okay now 
after doing this i performed command django not django sorry <laughs> okay python manage.py make migrations and another command which was python manage.py migrate i hope you are familiar with these two commands okay after doing that i went to views.py and i removed employee salary which we already kept over here if i do this you can see i remove this field okay and i also remove this field from here okay i hope you got idea and then i saved this and i went to forms.py there i removed integer field which was employee salary and i changed the date field form to date time field and i also changed its type okay so i hope you got idea about this one and after doing this i went over here and i just started doing this so i'll just uh, add one another data so i'll just say 10 and the time would be 11:38 pm okay and the name would be yash and i will submit and if i come over here see second object then you can see 23 38 11 i mean 00, 0. okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you